T officially opened the new Alewife station today. It took 10 years of planning, six years of construction work, and over half a billion dollars. But now it's done. Alewife station in North Cambridge is the final stop on the red line. And at the inaugural, one of the people who envisioned such a massive design 40 years ago. Back in the 30s, when Tip O'Neill was a young politician, urban planners were talking about a major highway through Cambridge. But O'Neill helped put an end to that idea. Mass transportation was the answer. It wasn't through ways through our metropolitan areas. Under a sunlit atrium, dignitaries and T-riders listened as officials praised the Alewife station as a vital link in upgrading urban areas. There is no state in the country that has been able to demonstrate just how valuable those investments in the future of urban America are than the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This is an impressive facility. It features a 12-foot subway, busway, a 2,000-car parking garage, and the station is completely accessible to special needs riders. Of course, it's still not 100% complete. They still have to redo some of the bus routes in the area. They're going to add some streets. But for the most part, the Alewife station is getting high marks from the riders so far. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. It's nice to look at. It looks like something at Disney World. <laughs> well, Disney World might be stretching it a bit, but the station is an imposing work of concrete, glass, and steel, but with a few soft curves here and there. But foremost, officials say it's functional and will take hundreds of cars off the already clogged Alewife Brook Parkway. These people will be able to pull in here, park, and then read their paper all the way to Boston. Bill Shields, TV4 Eyewitness News.